What's up everyone, Reggie Tech here. I hope you're all doing well and thanks for tuning into the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be installing these key fobs that I bought on Amazon for about $7, I think, on uh, my 2005 Ford Freestyle. So uh, the reason I went on Amazon searching for these is because, well, AutoZone has the key fobs for the cars, but they're like $45. It's extremely expensive and they're pretty much the same as this one. They actually don't even have the trunk lift button. Uh, not that I think it'll work for that Ford Freestyle anyways, but it's always nice to have something extra when you're buying a universal item like this. So it comes in this little packaging. I did buy two of them, so uh, I can always have one extra just in the event that I, you know, leave one home or forget one somewhere or whatever. Um, and they also do give you some instructions on the back. It says that you get some free programming resources and it's available at their website, which is remotesremotes.com. Uh, it tells you how to access the information for your specific car and that's pretty much it. So let's head out to the car and we'll get this installed. Alrighty, so we're in the car and don't mind the condition, I have not got a chance to get it cleaned yet as I'm still waiting for everything like the registration and the plates to be shipped. Um, but once again, here are the key fobs. So here it is, I haven't even tried it out yet. Uh, but here it is in its packaging, and here are the little instructions on the back. And the website is actually extremely helpful. You know, they also do have a bunch of other key fob types available. Um, so here they are. I hope that appears right. Uh, there's also ones that you can have the key on the key fob itself. So who knows, maybe I might invest in one of these later on. Uh, I actually like the idea of having that much more than having a separate key fob from the key. Uh, and also, I hope that the audio is coming through clearly. I took off my road mic. I don't really know how to have everything situated in a car. We'll figure that out eventually, though. Um, but yeah, at the bottom of the page, it tells you how exactly to get this to work and configure it on your car. Uh, for this Ford car, it says uh, close all doors, then open. And the camera just fell. Uh, so... Yeah, some things to work out with definitely uh, getting things situated in this car. Uh, but until then, we'll just deal with it the way we have it right now. Um, so let's see here. Let's get this positioned. Okay, that's a little better position than I had before anyways. Step one is to close all doors, then open the driver's side door. Press the unlock button on the driver's side door while it's still open. Insert the key into the ignition. Keep your foot off the foot pedal brake. Then you can turn the ignition off to run eight times, ending in run. So that means that we're gonna end in the position right before the starter, uh, right before we start the car. And then uh, you'll hear uh, you'll hear the locks, you know, cycling, and it must be performed within 10 seconds. Um, then we'll press any button on the key fob to get that thing uh, programmed. So we'll take the key fobs out of their little packaging right now. Let's see. And I'll show you guys right now. Nothing happens. Uh, we'll get the next one. So here are both of them. Nothing happens. All right, so let's go ahead and get this tried out. So I'm gonna open the door, unlock the car, put the key in, and then we're gonna close the door. And then we're gonna go eight times on this key. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, and it actually did do something there. Hey, that was super easy. Uh, I hope I got that on camera. But um, as soon as that eighth strike uh, into the on position, I heard all the car doors unlock and lock. They cycled through that motion there. So I hope you guys heard that on the camera. And then I was able to click the buttons on the key fobs to get them programmed. Um, so now let's turn the car off and let's see what happens. There we go, it's locked, unlocked. Hey, that's awesome. There we go, and just like that, we got these key fobs installed on this 2005 Ford Freestyle. 
So. All right, so now we're outside the car and I just wanted to show you guys how it works from being outside. So if I go ahead and click that unlock button, see that that door unlocks and if I click it again, all of the other doors will unlock as well. Now if I click that lock button one time, all the doors will lock. If I click it a second time, it will make the horn sound. Uh, let's try out to see if that uh, trunk button works for anything. Let's see. So it doesn't work unfortunately, but I didn't expect it to work anyways. It's just nice to have the function either way. So uh, let's go ahead and click that alarm button. All right, and that works as well. So everything works from this key fob minus the trunk, which I didn't expect to work anyways because this car pretty much didn't have that function to begin with. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it and like what you saw, I know I definitely did because now I have the added function of locking and unlocking my car with a key fob remotely. Makes me very happy because it's so much more convenient. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and smash that like button down below. If you guys enjoyed this content and want to see more content just like it, consider subscribing to my channel. If you guys want to check out this key fob, I will be leaving links to it down in that description box below to where you can buy it. I paid about seven bucks for it on Amazon, so it was an extremely good deal. Uh, so if you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and drop them down in that comment section below. And with all that being said, everyone, I hope you all stay well, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time.